All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Trevor's Reef. Um, it's the first I've ever seen my ugly mug. So. What we're gonna do today is actually we're gonna do a product review on the Red Sea Magnesium Pro Test Kit. Okay. Now I just got this. I've used it a couple times. I love it. I was using APIs. So much easier. I'm gonna switch all my test kits to Red Sea. Okay. So the Magnesium Pro is the only one I have at the moment. See, they come in these nice boxes. This tells you everything that comes in the box. Some warning labels and stuff like that. So let's open it up. Okay. So you can see once we get it out of the box here. All the Red Sea test kits come in these very nice plastic containers. These I love them. so much nicer than the plastic, the cardboard boxes. You know, they get wet and soggy. These nice hard containers will last indefinitely if, if you can take care of them. Okay? So we'll open this up here. So we have a booklet. Okay. Tells you what's how to do the test and all that good stuff. You also get this card. It's a nice laminated card, so if it gets wet, it's semi water resistant. Some quick instructions with pictures that tell you how to do the test, which are very, very nice. Easy to use. You don't have to worry about going through the pages of the little booklets. Love this part. Okay. So we also have a five milliliter syringe here to get your water from your tank mm. nice little testing vial here we have region A region B and this will be your titrator C and then another thing with the Red Sea is they all come, uh, the pros anyway, come with these nice titrators. These are so much easier than using um, a little drop in the little test tube vial and then shaking it and it, it, it's, it's easy. So you get your little syringe that comes in it and your titrator. Okay. So what we're actually going to do is... Uh, We'll actually go through and we'll test the magnesium in the, uh, the 55 gallon tank here. You can see my nice, nice big long tentacle over here. This is my baby. One of those little maroon clown fish. I hope you can see him right here. So we're actually going to run through and we're going to do this test real quick. And we'll see how it works and we'll go from there. So we'll set this on the side. Take these down out of our way. Now every time you use these, you want to rinse your vials in RODI water when you're done. Okay, this one's already been rinsed in RODI water. So, the first thing we're going to do, according to our little, little card here, is we want to add 2 milliliters of tank water. Okay, and with this syringe, that makes that very easy. So we'll get 2 milliliters of water. Oh, sorry, forgot. The first thing you want to do is rinse your vial in the water to be tested. So we'll do that real quick here first. So let's take a full syringe and put it in the vial here with the cap on. And we'll just give it a good little, little swashing and swirling here. Okay. Now we'll get rid of this. A little dump bucket I got in there. Okay. So now we're going to get two milliliters of water. Okay. So we'll put our two milliliters of water in our, in our vial here. Okay. Then it says you want to take region A, one drop at a time, one drop 15 seconds, shake for 15 seconds, and you want to do that five times. So we'll do that. 
just give your your region just a little a little mixing you don't have to really really shake it you know just mix it up a little bit okay. come on get out of there come on Fifteen seconds of swirling. Okay. Put drop number two, and we'll do another fifteen seconds of swirling. Now this is the first magnesium test kit I've ever had, so I can't com really compare it to any other magnesium tests, but when I do get the rest of my Red Seek test kits, I will be able to compare them to the API tests, which as I can tell you right now are going to be probably easier. Drop number five. Okay. We'll close this up. Put that out of the way. We'll do another fifteen seconds as well. Okay. Now it says to take. Regent B, and we're going to do five drops of Regent B. Take the cap off here. And we'll do five drops. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so there's five of that. Now it says to shake for 60 seconds. So we'll put our cap on here. shake for 60 seconds. Now one thing I will say is um, the Red Sea test kits are a little bit more expensive than the uh, API test kits that I had before, but from what I can tell so far they are a lot easier and worth the money. Um, as always, your regions do expire on any test kit, so you always want to make sure you're checking your expiration dates. If you order from a retailer like Amazon, or if you buy off of eBay or something like that, you should always make sure that if you get a test kit that has a regent that is expired, that the, the seller will be good for it and will replace it for you. Okay. If you buy off like Dr. Foster's and Smith or Bulk Resupply or whatever, you shouldn't get any expired regions from them, period. Okay. All right, so there's one minute of shaking. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our titrator, and we're going to screw our vial right on the bottom of our titrator. Okay, just like that. Now it tells you to take one milliliter of Regent C. Okay. Now you will notice, as you take one milliliter of your regent, the water level does, or the regent level does rise slower than the regent, okay, or than your plunger. And you will also notice, who did that? You want your regent or your plunger to be right at the one milliliter mark. Now you will notice the liquid is lower. That is to compensate for the liquid that is in the tip here. 
Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our syringe and put it in the titrator. And you want to do this so the scale is showing on the outside so you can read how much reagent you use. Okay, I'll be back in just one second. Just enjoy the tank. So like I said, scale out. Now what it says to do for the titration is you want to add a drop and shake. It will start out as this pink color and it'll end when it turns blue. Okay, now I've watched a lot of videos and the first time I did it, I did drop by drop, it takes a while. But I noticed when you do it, if you kind of, at first, just put in maybe a milliliter or so and shake you will notice a rather quick change in color okay so you don't have to go drop by drop at first you know just kind of push it in okay so you see right here we're at seven milliliters in this left in the syringe okay and you want to shake it as you go You can see we're starting to turn it a little different color pink now. And what you're looking for is blue. Okay, you see that? It turned purple. So now we'll go drop by drop. One more drop should do it. And there's the blue color. Okay. See that? Now we'll change back to pink rather quickly. So now what you want to do is you want to read your syringe. And you want to read where the bottom of your plunger is on the syringe and not where the liquid is. Okay. So right here we're at three point point or zero point three three. Okay. Sorry, 0 0.33. So then on the back of your, your instruction card here is a chart. And depending on how much regent you used, it'll tell you what your magnesium level is in your tank. Okay. So there's 0 0.33 left in the syringe. We'll round it down to 0 0.3, we'll round it up to 3.4. So if, if we have 3.4 left in the syringe, that means we used 66.66 milliliters, right? Yeah, yeah. So if then we look at our chart here, and 0.66 will give us a magnesium of 1320. Okay, my math might be a little off. I'm not perfect at math, but it gives you the general idea on how to do this. Okay. And then when you're done. You can just take your, your syringe out of your titrator here, and whatever you have left for regent. And go. Don't put the tip in the regent, because there might be some stuff on the outside. Just squirt what's left in there into your bottle. Okay. And then we'll close all this up. And that's how you do your magnesium test on the Magnesium Pro test kit from Red Sea okay like I said they're very easy no uh, a little more expensive but very easy to do I, I absolutely love them okay um, now now that we're done the one thing you always want to do is you always want to clean all your equipment clean your syringe clean your vial even the vial cap and your other syringe you use to get water okay now you're gonna want to clean these in RODI water that's what I use. I use RODI water. I, uh, I soak them and I'll push them around a little bit and, uh, and then you can dry everything by hand or whatever. If you want to let them air dry, you can let them dry out and then put everything back. That's up to you. 
So thank you for watching this video of Trevor's Reef on the Magnesium Pro test kit from Red Sea. I look forward to hearing from all of you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you everybody and have a nice day.